Hey guys, I'm Julia and welcome back to Crocoblock channel. As you can see from the title, today we will be talking about the testimonials widget from Jet Elements plugin. This widget is a great tool for showing custom feedback about your products and services. Moreover, it's a quite simple but fully customizable widget. You can change the order of the elements, pick a proper layout, set up and style every single item, typography, background type, star style and lots more. I'm pretty sure that you like our examples, I personally love them, and today I will recreate them for you. And if you follow my steps till the very end of this video, you'll get the same stunning testimonials. I really cannot wait to show you how to apply and style this cool widget, so let's dive in. Find the page where you want to apply the testimonials widget and click edit with Elementor. I already have a pre-made page today, and let's apply the widget to the stop section. Find it in the Elements panel and drag it. By default, it looks not that impressive, I know. However, let's start with the basic settings and turn it into something creative. On the left sidebar, there are Content, Style and Advanced blocks. Let's start with the Content. So under Items, what do we have here? This is the place where your testimonials are placed. All of its content like image, comment, date, rating, you can edit them, add, copy and delete exactly here. Let me just quickly add my testimonials. I added five of them and we have settings. Toggling the equal items height will allow you to make all of your testimonials of the same height. Slides to show how many slides will be visible. You can set it to 1 or even 10 if you want as many testimonials to be shown as possible. If you choose more than one, one more setting will appear, slice to scroll. What it means, one image scrolls out of view and disappears while another one scrolls into view. In our example, we have only one slide visible. Pause and hover. Whenever you move your mouse to this area, it won't move. Then autoplay, untoggling this option will make your testimonials immovable. Autoplay speed, 5000 means 5 seconds, you can adjust the speed here. Infinite loop, it goes around and around. Adaptive height, means that the widget's height will adjust to the current testimonial's height. Under the effect, you can choose slide or fade. Animation speed, how long it takes to switch from one testimonial to another. 500 is half of a second. Let's compare, let's say, 1000. As you can see, the animation is smooth and slow now. And if we set it to 50, it's going to be super fast. Show arrows and dots navigation. I'll choose both. You can pick the arrows in the icon library or upload your own SVG file like I did. And finally, under the rating, you can set the style of the stars. We have no stars in our example, but don't worry, I'll show you how to style them later. Let's move on to the next block, Style. As you can see, we have so many options here. In this block, you can customize all of the testimonial parts, like literally everything. Under the item, you can change the background of the widget, either set a solid color or gradient or set an image. We have just a white color, so let's pick it. Then we can see item margin, border type, border radius and box shadow. Let's change the border radius and turn on the box shadow. As for the order, choose in what order you want the content to be displayed. Now moving on to the image. There you can change the alignment, width and height, also adjust its position, choose and change the border type and radius and set a box shadow. I don't need any of these, so I'm gonna move on to the next setting. Icon and title, they all have the same settings, we don't have any, so I'm gonna skip these and let's change the comment. Here I will change the width of the comment, then padding. Change the color of the text, set a color for the background and then set the opacity to zero to make it transparent. And finally, change the font in the typography setting. By the way, you can see this used comment corner here, well, stay tuned, that will explain it a bit later. Name, position and date, they all have the same options. I will do the same steps that I did before, changing the color and the font. Under Rating, you can style up the stars. Just a bit later, I will show you a perfect example of how we style them. Arrows setting is where we adjust the position and change the style of the arrows. 
Under the top, left and right indent, you can adjust the position of the arrows so it fits the width of your testimonial or comment or section. Later, I will show you more examples of how to style up the arrows differently. By default, we have blue background for the arrows. To set a different color or adjust the opacity, I go to the arrow style, background color and set the opacity to zero. By using the same settings, you can style up the arrows for the hover state. And by the way, if you choose the icons from the library, not an SVG file like I did, you can always change the color of the icon and the size under the font color and font size. And finally, we have dots, where we can change the alignment gap between the dots, margin setting, and we have three different options to style them up for the normal, hover, and active states. Clicking on the dot style, we can change the background color, box size, border radius. By default, we have round dots, but changing the radius, you can turn them into square ones. Here, I will change the color for the active and hover states. And that's pretty much it. The only thing that I need is to change the width of my testimonial. Let's go to the advanced positioning. I'm going to choose custom width. And as a finishing touch, I will add an image to the background of my section, adjust its position, and we are done. Now I will show you another option of how to style up the testimonials widget. I'm adding the testimonials in the content block, filling in all the necessary information and adding the rating as well. As I have only three testimonials this time, I will choose slice to show three. Turn off the autoplay and untoggle arrows and dots navigation. In the style block under item, I will set the same white color, adjust the position and add the box shadow. To make the shadow look nice and smooth, I will lower the opacity and adjust the blur and spread. As for the image, I'm okay with the size, I'll just add a top margin and move on to the comment. Here I will repeat the same steps, setting a white color for the background, adjusting the width and position. Now I'm going to change the font in the typography settings of the name and position. And as I promised, it's time to show you how to style up the stars. Let's go to the rating, choose the size of the stars and spacing. Under the stars and active stars, you can choose a different color that fits your color scheme or just leave yellow color. To show how it can look like, I'll go back to the content block, choose four stars under the rating option. Now the four active stars are purple and the fifth one is gray. Now, what if you want to make something different? As Crocoblock Testimonials widget is fully customizable, you can play with the settings and completely change the look of the widget. I added four testimonials and I will show you how to transform the images this time. First of all, let's choose Slides to Show to Enable Dots and Arrows Navigation. I'll stick with the default arrows. And now we can start styling the widget. Let's pick a different color for the background under the item. I'm using this bluish white, then change a border radius and set a box shadow. Now under the image, let's change the width and height so it matches the width of the testimonial. Now I will change the text of the comment, name and date. Do you remember I told you that it's possible to customize the dots as well? Let's open the dots settings. Here I will change the alignment into right. Then I will go to the dot style, set a color and set a border radius to zero. Now we have square dots. I will repeat the same steps changing the settings for the active and hover states. To make the arrows fit nicely, I will go to the advanced block and adjust the width of the widget by changing left and right padding. I want to style the arrows. Let's go back to the style block, arrows. I will adjust the position by changing top, left and right indent and set a different color for the background and font. Final step is changing the border radius and box size. Now let's take a look at what we've got. One more variant to create good looking testimonials for your website. I'm applying the widget again. Don't forget to add the information in the content block. There will be no images in our testimonials, but at the same time it won't look too boring. I'll show you how to do that. In the settings, let's choose slides to show 1, effect fade, 
disable dots navigation and pick the arrows in the icon library. Okay, great. Now let's go to the style block and this time we will choose an image for the background. You can always adjust the size and width under the image settings. Choose any order you want and let's go straight to the comment. I want the text to be on the left side this time. I'll set a proper width and change the alignment into left. Now I'll set a white color for the name, change the font in the typography settings and adjust its position by changing the alignment and margin. The same steps are applied for the position. And lastly, let's adjust the arrows. I'll place them exactly under the beginning of the text on the left side. In the arrows style, let's set a transparent background and change the colors for the hover state. In this last example, I will demonstrate how to style the comment corner. Let's choose two slides to show and disable arrows. Then in the style block, I'll quickly adjust the item's size and position. Now moving on to the image, let's pick a smaller size and add a border radius to make it round. By the way, if you want the photo to have an outline, choose a border type solid, pick a color and adjust the width. I'm gonna choose none for now and keep on styling the name and date, applying the steps from the previous part. To apply that fancy corner, let's style the comment as well. And under Use Comment Corner, you can set any color, I'll pick a white one so it matches the background color. Then adjust corner width, height, position and skew. To see how it looks, let's apply a box shadow. Great! Finally, I'm gonna set an image for the section background and our tutorial ends here with these nice testimonials. Now you know how to bring the reviews on your website to the next level with the help of Crocoblock testimonials widget. I hope you enjoyed this video, subscribe to our channel, leave your comments down below and don't forget to hit that bell to receive notifications about our future videos. And I'll see you guys in the next one.